at this beautiful Hibernian Hall, like a beautiful place, with a nice man named Frank. We're not gonna tell you his last name. And you're, so you're an avid sports fan. Yes. You like to play the horses. Yes, I do. Are you, are you any good at it, or are you just? Yeah, so, so. I hold my own. You're kind of a mush? No, I hold my own. You hold I your own? I have friends at home, right? So, so, so. Do you take good, do you get good tips from some guys? Sometimes. Sometimes. Who's the greatest horse you ever saw run? Secretary. Now, what year was that? 73. Did you, did you bet him? I bet him when he lost. That's how I told him. Really? The only off. time he lost. Yeah, see? <laughs> see what I told you? I think you're a mush. <laughs> when did you start gambling? 14. 14 years old? Yeah. So almost over 60 years. Yes. So you started gambling at 14, playing the horses. Yes. And But the tracks used to be very busy, right? There was a lot, very busy, lot of action. Very busy, a lot of action. What happened to them? Why did things die down? There's like, they're going out of business. Mm -hmm. There's more tracks around and they bet on TV now. Right. TVG. Yeah. Well, other than your kids being born and your marriage, what was the happiest day of your life? I guarantee it was hitting the, hitting the trifecta <laughs> or a superfecta down the track. Yeah, I did. That was, a, that was a good day. That was a good day? Hit, hit for 6,300. Oh, was that your best hit? Yeah. Wow. Yes, it what was. You, what's the most you ever lost in a day gambling? A day gambling? A thousand. Did you cap yourself at the thousand? Been 100 races. 10 races in a row and you lost them all? 0 for 9. 0 for 9. <laughs> Would you say you're a degenerate gambler? A little bit. All right. uh, okay. That's okay. It takes one to know one, so am I. <laughs>